What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a short tutorial on how to get Android Pie on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now I made a video talking about this alpha build of Android Pie for the Galaxy Note 9. I made a quick review and showed you all the guys the features. I'll drop the video below if you want to check out my review. But several of you wanted to try to install this on your phone and give it a try yourself. Now before I go ahead and show you guys the steps you need to do this, the things you need in order to actually make the installation happen, I want to warn you that this is a very unstable build. Uh, it's an alpha build, a testing build, not really meant to be run by sort of someone using their daily driver. So be very, very cautious. I don't recommend you use this on your actual daily phone. If you do, it's going to be very buggy. I talked about some of the issues in my previous video, so I highly recommend you go check that out first. Now, if you do want to install it, the few things you're going to need, of course, you're going to need your Galaxy Note 9. Uh, this only works for the Snapdragon variant, so that's very important. If you have the Exynos version, this method will not work. The build does not work with the Exynos variant. So you'll need the Snapdragon version. I have a Snapdragon version from AT&T here in the US, so it will work for my phone. As you guys can see, I'm running it. Now, also, you're going to need a PC which I have right here, because you're going to need to use the Odin software. You're also going to need, of course, a USB Type-C cable to connect your Galaxy Note 9 to your PC. So once you have all that stuff there, you're going to need some files. And again, this tutorial was originally created by my friend Max Weinbach over at XDA. You guys should definitely follow him on Twitter. He makes a lot of great Samsung stuff, so I want to give him credit. People wanted to see it in video form, so I figured I would do it since he has a written tutorial. Some people like video a little better. You're going to need to grab some files. He has the links right here. You're going to need to download the Odin software if you don't have it already on your computer. Odin looks like this. I already have it installed on my PC right here. You can see right there, version 3.13. Uh, he does have the current file there, so you can download it if you don't have it. We'll get to that in a second. You'll need the update zip file, which will actually upgrade you to the correct firmware so that you can install the Android Pie Alpha. And then you'll need the Odin files in order to actually go ahead and get the uh, firmware upgraded in order to allow you to flash the update. Now, I highly recommend if you have an SD card on your Galaxy Note 9, that is the easiest way to go about doing this. Um, you'll want to navigate to your SD card and save the update zip to your SD card. So you guys can see here on my SD card, the file update.zip is right there from where I originally installed the Android Pie build on October 13th, 1.62 gigabytes. That's the update file that he lists there. It goes from build number ARI5 to CRJ3. That's what we're going to have to do as our last step is install this and it's easy to do that if you actually have it installed on the SD card itself. So then once you have all those files, you'll want to go ahead and open the Odin files. And then once you open the Odin files and unzip them, you'll have a folder that looks like this right here. So you can see I've got multiple files inside the folder. We've got an AP file, BL, CP, CSC on our files there. All of those files will be needed. The user data file is not needed. So the next thing you'll need to do is go ahead and put your Galaxy Note 9 into download mode. So if you have the phone on, you wanna go ahead and power it off to put it into the download mode so that you can get this uh, Odin software to flash the correct firmware for the update. Once it completely shuts down, the way you'll put it into the Odin mode is hold down power, Bixby, and volume down at the same time. So go ahead and hold down all of those keys at one time and you will see this very bright blue screen come up. It says, warning, custom OS has all these risks. If you want to continue, hit volume up. So I go ahead and hit volume up to continue. That'll put it in Odin mode, which looks like this right here. Some text, some downloading, etc. So then once you've got it into Odin mode, you'll want to open the Odin software. Of course, go ahead and take your Galaxy Note 9 and plug in the Galaxy Note 9 into your computer. Once you've plugged in the Galaxy Note 9 to your computer, you'll want to hit these buttons here on the Odin. It gives you BL. You'll want to open that, find the BL file, place that there, and then it's going to take a second to add the BL file. It does take a few minutes to add some of these to Odin, so don't worry too much about that. It's not a big deal. The AP file specifically will take a little bit of time to add, so I might go ahead and fast forward through the video in this one spot. Next, we'll go ahead and add the CP file here as well. That one shouldn't take too long to add, not nearly as long as the AP file did. And then you'll want to add the CSC file. Again, you do not need to include user data at all whatsoever. Go ahead and make sure your phone is connected. And then here at the bottom, you'll go ahead and hit start. And that'll start the process 
um, of upgrading the firmware using Odin so then we can flash the update zip. Now this will take a little bit of time once you hit start and this actually starts going. When I did it on my Galaxy Note 9, I think it took about, I don't know, maybe eight minutes or so for Odin to finish doing its thing completely and reboot. So then you'll be down to this bottom part, step seven on Max's tutorial. You'll wanna go ahead and of course restart your phone. And then once the phone reboots, you'll next need to boot into recovery to flash the update zip. So it does say after you reboot from doing the Odin process to wait about five minutes, then your phone will reboot like this. Uh, once the phone does reboot and get back to the home screen, wait about five minutes and then we'll go straight into a recovery to apply the update from the SD card. So this is the point where you have to make sure you have that update.zip stored on your SD card. If you don't, then you won't be able to apply the update when we go into recovery. So now once again, starting from the phone being completely powered down, you're gonna do power, Bixby and volume up all at the same time. Simultaneously, you're gonna hold those down. This is gonna boot us into recovery mode where we can go ahead and apply the update from the SD card. This is sort of the last step to make sure you get Android Pie on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You can go ahead and release once you see that. Now we're in the recovery menu. You see you've got a lot of options here. One of those is apply from SD card. So use the volume down to navigate to apply from SD card. Hit the power button there. Then use the volume to navigate to update.zip, which is what you have right there. Once you go to update.zip, you'll go ahead and hit the power button and then it will ask you if you want to install. Go ahead and say continue and install the update.zip. Now obviously I already have the update on my phone so I'm not gonna update again. I already have it flashed. This will take about two to 10 minutes once you go ahead and hit the power and say that yes, you do want to install update.zip. It took closer to 10 minutes for me when I actually installed it. All right guys, so as I said, once you reboot from doing the update.zip, you should be in Android Pie on your Galaxy Note 9. The settings menu will look like this by default. Hope you guys enjoyed me walking through the steps I went through. Again, Max Weinbach put together the written tutorial. I link it below so you can reference that and also get all of the files which are linked in his article on XDA. If you guys have any questions for me, drop a comment below. I'll try to get back to you again. A very unstable alpha build, so make sure you definitely want to run this, especially if it's your daily driver. I don't recommend it, but have fun flashing if you really want to check it out. I'll be covering the official beta once it comes out and of course all the stable builds as well. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. I appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.